If you happen to be a kid in the 80s or 90s, you probably grew up wanting to be just like Indiana Jones. Indy made archaeology seem like an awesome and exciting career choice. The truth is, there's a lot more time dusting off old shards of pottery than escaping giant boulders or melting Nazis. Which is too bad we could use some Nazi melting these days, but that's not to say that archaeology isn't exciting, because it totally is. And we have evidence to prove it. From the ancient temple found on a distant island, to the strange messages believed to be written for aliens to read, here's the 20 most amazing recent archaeological discoveries. <sighs> Number 20. Carthaginian Temples Found The Azores Archipelago is about a third of the way to North America from Europe. It's about a thousand miles off the coast of Europe. The islands belong to Portugal, and official history has said for a long time that they were empty until the 15th century, when Portuguese ships brought settlers to live there. But a controversial new theory is becoming more popular. Welcome to the cave that should have never existed. Rock art and remains of buildings built by people on the islands show that people lived there thousands of years ago. Some of the buildings look like they were built in the Stone Age, which is interesting because it means there was a society at that time that was advanced enough to travel so far and settle the Faroe Islands. This is another controversial theory. Some think that it could have been the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians built Carthage in what's now Tunisia in North Africa in the first century BC. Archaeologists don't agree with this theory, but it suggests that the Phoenicians knew how to get to the New World, but they spread the idea that it was impossible to cross the ocean so they could keep the trade route to themselves. Experts have cited things like the petroglyphs found in Peterborough, Canada, as proof that this trade route connected the Old World and the New World. Some of the markings seen on the rocks in the Azores look like those that have been found in North America. This suggests that the Azores may have been a way to get to the New World, and maybe it was the real Atlantis. Number 19. Over 160 new geoglyphs discovered in the Nazca Desert. In 2020, while excavating a hillside to better observe the historic Nazca lines in Peru, archaeologists stumbled upon a cat geoglyph 120 feet long. Given the internet's general enthusiasm for felines, it's no surprise that this went viral. Because of its location on a very steep hill that's vulnerable to natural erosion, the figure was difficult to discern and was on the verge of disappearing. The geoglyph depicts a cat figure in profile, with its head turned toward the front. Between 100 and 200 BC, at the close of the Paracas era and the beginning of the Nazca culture is when the cat was likely created. In the desert some 250 miles south of Lima, the country's capital, you can find these strange patterns of geometric shapes and animals known as the Nazca Lines. A monkey, an orca, a hummingbird, and a fourth character that some would like to see as an astronaut or an alien are also depicted. It's incredible, but we know there must be more hidden figures yet to be discovered. But we still have no idea what they mean or why they were made. Many people speculate that they were created as messages to visiting aliens, since no human could have ever flown high enough to see them. Huh, I guess aliens liked cats as much as we do. Number 18. An unknown queen's pyramid discovered at Saqqara. The pyramid of a previously unknown Egyptian queen has been discovered, together with a treasure trove of antiquities and systems of underground passageways. Saqqara, located in Giza, is about 32 kilometers south of Cairo, and it's where a crew has been working since 2020. King Tut died in 1323 BC, and archaeologists have recently uncovered a number of tombs and mummies that may have belonged to his closest generals and advisors during his lifetime. The pyramid of the first pharaoh of Egypt's sixth dynasty, Teddy, was examined by archaeologists as well. Many wanted to be buried close to Teddy, since he was revered as a divine being during the New Kingdom. We've located 22 interconnected holes with depths ranging from 9 to 18 meters. Within these tunnels, they uncovered a massive limestone sarcophagus and 300 exquisite New Kingdom era coffins, as well as this strange pyramid that belonged to a mysterious queen. Number 17. A 3,400 year old city in Iraq emerges from underwater after an extreme drought. 
The water level in this Iraqi reservoir rapidly decreased as a result of a severe drought, exposing a massive city that had lain hidden for 3,400 years. The town in the Mosul Reservoir, near the Tigris River in the Kurdistan region of northern Iraq, was excavated in January and February of 2022 by a team of archaeologists from Kurdistan and Germany. In order to preserve the region's cultural heritage for future generations, the project was developed in collaboration with the Duhok Directorate of Antiquities and History. A place called Zakhiku, a significant center of the Mitanni Empire from 1550 to 1350 BC, is the city archaeologists believe this find to be. The kingdom's borders stretched from the Mediterranean Sea to the mountains of northern Iraq. Zakhiku vanished below the water after the Iraqi government constructed the Mosul Dam in the 1980s. 80s, now it's made a comeback. Number 16. New Viking Caves in Iceland In Rangarvillir, Iceland, near the old village of Odi, archaeologists from the Archaeological Institute of Iceland have been busy digging. At Odi, man-made caves were found for the first time in 2018. The most recent research project, which is part of a two-year study, has found a much bigger cave that connects to the larger cave system. Archaeologists think that the new cave may be a Nuatahalir, which was a medieval stall for horses and cattle. In the 1210 to 1250 AD book, Legends of Saints by Bishop Thor Locker, he talks about a Natahalir that collapsed while 12 bulls were still inside. Only one of the bulls was saved from the rubble. The cave was dug out of soft sandstone that's porous and easy to break. This made excavations slow and dangerous. Odi was also where Oda Verjar, a powerful clan in the Icelandic Commonwealth in the Middle Ages, had their home, and wrote the early histories of the Norwegian region kings. Odi grew into a major center for culture and learning. Iceland's patron saint, Thor Locker Thor Halsen, went to school there. So this is a very important spot in Icelandic history. Number 15. A vast Roman town found in the UK. Next up, archaeologists have found the remarkably well-preserved remains of an Iron Age village that grew into a busy Roman trading town. They found more than 300 Roman coins, glass vessels, and water wells in what is now the district of South Northamptonshire, England, in the UK. About 80 archaeologists from the Museum of London Archaeology Headland Infrastructure have spent the past year digging up the site in preparation for the building of HS2, some structures from different time periods such as pictures of gods and Roman game pieces. Archaeologists have known about Blackground's history since the 18th century, but it wasn't until the HS2 survey and excavation that they realized how well the site's been kept. For example, archaeologists found out that the village had more than 30 roundhouses near a road during the Iron Age. Over time, the settlement grew and became more prosperous. During the Roman era, people in Blackgrounds built new stone buildings and roads. Roman accessories for weaving, Roman pottery, and a brooch in the shape of a snake's head are also signs of Blackground's wealth. The archaeologists even found galena, a lead sulfite material that the Romans used to make makeup by crushing it and mixing it with oil. Number 14. Human head carvings and phallus-shaped pillars discovered at 11,000-year-old site in Turkey. Now over to Turkey, where we found evidence that a building with phallus-shaped pillars and a carving of a human head was used for a ceremonial parade 11,000 years ago. And you thought it was just kids these days that like creating phallus-shaped stuff. But I'll admit it's pretty weird, let's find out more. Karahan Tepe is a site in southern Turkey. It's made up of a group of buildings that were built even before writing was invented. Archaeologists found carvings of human heads, snakes, and a fox in the building's ruins. They also found pillars with these interesting shapes. Does YouTube still let you say penis? Archaeologists, for example, found 11 pillars near a carving of a human head. Nesmi Karul, a professor of prehistoric archaeology at Istanbul University, said, all pillars are erected and shaped like a phallus. Yeah, I'd say he's right about that. This building is linked to three others, making a sort of complex. Karul said that an ancient group of people may have held a parade through this complex as part of a ceremony. Current evidence suggests that people used the complex for a ceremonial process, entering the building from one end and exiting at the other, having to parade in the presence of the human head and the phallus-shaped pillars. Yeah, I'd say that's a little different from the parade at the Magic Kingdom, but hey. The site was built around the same time as Gobekli Tepe, which has large buildings and carvings of animal and human heads. 
Archaeologists are trying to figure out how the two sites are connected, and they might be able to help us understand our ancient past better. Number 13. The Tunnel to Cleopatra's Lost Tomb For a long time, people thought that Antony and Cleopatra's tomb had been lost. The tomb was built in Alexandria, Egypt around 30 BC, or at least that's where it's thought to have been. Suetonius and Plutarch, two Roman historians, say that after Octavian, who later became known as Augustus, defeated the lovers in battle, he let them be buried together. How kind of him. Around 2009, rumors spread that the famous Egyptologist Zahi Hawass had found the tomb in Top Osiris Magna, which is a shrine to Osiris west of Alexandria, Egypt. During digs, archaeologists found 10 dead Egyptian nobles in 27 tombs. They also found coins with pictures of Cleopatra and engravings of Antony and Cleopatra holding hands, but the elusive lovers were not there. So far, it's been hard to find the famous tomb itself, but work on the temple has kept going. Ground-penetrating radar was used in 2011 to find more places below the surface, and the search continues to find where the most famous lovers in history are buried. And here I thought the two most famous lovers in history were Benefer. Number 12. Another Treasure Hall from San Xing Dui. The San Xing Dui ruin site in Sichuan Province, southwest China, has been the focus of recent archaeological discoveries. After a lot of work, the site finally yielded several ivory artifacts. Earlier, a bronze sacred tree was discovered in a pit. The long-awaited archaeological dig at the San Xing Dui ruin site began after the discovery of six further pits. Over 10,000 artifacts from various cultures, dating back some 3,000 years, have been discovered so far. In 1986, archaeologists excavating the San Xing Dui ruins discovered two massive sacrificial pits containing hundreds of priceless artifacts. One of the most significant archaeological sites in the world, these pits date back to 5,000 years ago and document the existence of the ancient Shu kingdom. The ongoing dig at Sacrifice Pit Number 8 has yielded some extremely rare and significant large bronze vessels. Some of these might have been brand new treasures for the country. They're literally going to need a whole new museum to house all these artifacts. Number 11. Mammoths in Devon, England Experts have confirmed that woolly mammoth bones were among the many notable ice period animal remains discovered in a cave in Devon. How cool is that? Imagine mammoths wandering around southern England. That would be wild. The bones are believed to be from the last ice age, and they date back to the time of the woolly rhinoceros, wolf, and hyena. The archaeological dig was conducted as part of a construction project in the Plymouth area. This discovery is of national significance, according to lead archaeologist Rob Bourne. This was a once-in-a-lifetime experience for those involved, according to Rob of Orion Heritage, an archaeological and heritage consultant. A hyena, horse, reindeer, mountain hare, and red fox skeleton were also discovered by the archaeologists, along with the partial remains of a woolly mammoth and a woolly rhinoceros. The bones will soon be entrusted to the care of Plymouth's brand new museum, The Box, where people will be able to see these strange and ancient animals. But we all want to know, when will there be a Jurassic Park-style attraction with real-life mammoths and woolly rhinos recreated from DNA? I'd love to see that one day, until they escape and eat everyone. Number 10. Farmer uncovers stunning Byzantine-era mosaic in Gaza Orchard. A Palestinian farmer was trying to plant new trees on his land when he found a colorful mosaic floor from the Byzantine era. This mosaic floor shows a variety of colorful birds and other animals. Salman al-Nabahin found the artifact while working in his olive grove in the Bereji refugee camp, which is about a kilometer from the Israeli border. Nabahin said that he and his son started digging to find out why some trees weren't taking root properly. Then his son's axe struck something hard and weird looking. The Palestinian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquity said that the floor was made of mosaics that showed animals and other parts of Byzantine society. 
From about 395, when the Roman Empire split into the East and Western Empires, until the Ottoman Turks took it over in 1453, the Byzantine Empire held power. Gaza is full of old things, because it was a major trading center for many different cultures, from the ancient Egyptians and the Philistines, to the Bible, to the Roman Empire, and the Crusades. Number 9. An ancient Mayan city unearthed after centuries. Now, let's take a look at something very interesting near Merida in Yucatan, Mexico. Researchers found the remains of a Mayan city from a thousand years ago while they were building on a site. Ziol is what archaeologists have called this Mayan city from long ago. The site was dug up when an industrial park was being built, and it's thought that people lived there between 600 and 900 AD. The distinctive Mayan Puck style of building helped the experts figure out how old their find was. Scientists say that this style of architecture was very rare in the Meridia area at the time, which makes the city of Ziol even stranger. Archaeologists have learned a lot from the ruins. The area was home to more than 4,000 people. There were people from all walks of life living there. There were priests and scribes who lived in big palaces, and regular people who lived in smaller buildings. During their digs, the researchers found signs of palaces, pyramids, homes, and cemeteries. There were many graves of children and adults, as well as tools and offerings used at funerals. For historians, this is a treasure trove of information about this fascinating period in history. Number 8. Stunning necklace found at burial site of powerful Anglo-Saxon woman. Archaeologists found a beautiful necklace made of gold, garnets, and other semi-precious stones that's 1,300 years old. It was dug up at a site in central England where houses are going to be built. The necklace and other valuable items, called the Harpole Treasure, after the parish in Northamptonshire County, England, where they were found, showed that some women in Anglo-Saxon England held important positions. Researchers at the Museum of London Archaeology who found the treasure say the jewelry was buried with a wealthy woman who died between 630 and 670 AD. A large silver cross, two decorated pots, and a shallow copper dish were also in the treasure. The woman's Anglo-Saxon jewelry showed that she was powerful and very religious. She might have been an early Christian leader, a princess, or an abbess. The gravesite is thought to be the most important burial from a unique time in English history when pagan and Christian beliefs mixed and women held powerful positions in the early church. Burials of about a dozen other women of high status have been found in other parts of England. In some cases, similar necklaces were found at the grave sites. This changes a lot of our understanding of women's roles in the past, which were often more important than we might have imagined. <laughs> That's a funny sentence. More important than giving birth to everybody. Number 7. 2,000-year-old Buddhist temple unearthed in Pakistan. Northwest Pakistan's Swat Valley holds the remains of a recently discovered Buddhist temple that's about 2,000 years old and could be one of the oldest in the country. The building is in the town of Barakat, and it's likely from the 2nd century BCE. It was built on top of a Buddhist temple from as early as the 3rd century BCE, a few hundred years after the death of Buddhism's founder, Siddhartha Gautama. The temple's ruins are about 10 feet high. They're made up of a ceremony platform that used to have a stupa, or dome, on top. At its peak, the temple had a smaller stupa in front, a room or cell for monks, the podium of a column or pillar, a staircase, rooms called vestibules, and a public courtyard that looked out onto a road. Since 1955, archaeologists from Italy have been digging in the Swat Valley. Since then, excavations in Barakat have found two more Buddhist temples along a road that led from the city center to the gates. The researchers thought that they might have found a street of temples, making this a very sacred place. Number 6. Hidden Van Gogh Self-Portrait Found Behind Another Painting They found him staring intently from the back of a canvas wearing a wide-brimmed hat and a loose neckerchief. But how did he get there? It was a self-portrait of Vincent Van Gogh, one of the most famous and influential artists in Western art history. And it had just been hiding in plain sight in the collection of the National Galleries of Scotland for more than 50 years, hidden beneath another painting. 
The x-ray plates were developed in an old-fashioned darkroom, and when an expert looked at the pictures, she realized she was looking at the face of Van Gogh himself. Further research suggests that the painting is one of a series of experimental self-portraits. Five similar works are on display at the Van Gogh Museum in the Netherlands. They were painted on the backs of earlier canvases when he lived in Noonan, in the south of the country, from December of 1883 to November of 1885. There, he made a number of studies of peasants to get ready to paint his 1885 masterpiece, The Potato Eaters. Conservators will now start the process of uncovering the self-portrait, which is buried under layers of glue and cardboard and may not be in good shape, while keeping the original painting safe. This is two great paintings for the price of one. Number 5. The Hand of Irulegi Archaeologists from the Aranzadi Science Society discovered an ancient hand artifact in 2021, and the hand contains writing, which is even more fascinating. They were digging at the base of Castillo de Irulegico Gaztelua near Pamplona, Spain, where there was an ancient Basque settlement. The object was made in the 1st century BC during the Roman Sertoria Wars. This was a time when Roman rebels called Sertorians fought against the Roman government. Archaeologists say that the hand was put over a door to protect it. When the settlement burned down and people left, the hand was buried in the ruins of a mud brick house. It's thought that the hand was made by the Vascones, a pre-Roman tribe who lived between the upper course of the Ebro River and the southern basin of the Western Pyrenees. The first word written on the hand is Sorioneku, which sounds like the modern Basque word Zorioneko, which means good luck. It's paired with four other words whose meaning are not as clear. People used to think that the Vascones didn't have a real written language, except for a few words, and that they didn't start leaving written records until the Romans brought Latin to them. But it seems that they were much more advanced than we gave them credit for. And now we have some hard evidence. Number 4. Ancient Bronze Statues in Tuscany Archaeologists in Italy are calling this recent find the most exceptional in the last 50 years. They think it could change what we know about how the Romans and Etruscans got along in the past. A team of archaeologists found 24 bronze statues. The statues were over 2,000 years old, and they'd been perfectly preserved in the hot mud and water of an ancient sacred pool. The site is the hot springs of the town San Cassiano del Bani in Tuscany. San Casciano del Bani, which means San Casciano of the Baths, is one of the most beautiful hilltop towns that look over the green valleys with cypress trees standing tall. But in the 3rd century BCE, Etrusians built a sanctuary at the local hot springs, which gave the town its name. The Greeks taught the Etrusians their religion, and the Roman Senate later took on some of the most important parts of that religion. Historians say that when Romans grew the sanctuary and made it more luxurious, the Emperor Augustus went there often. The pool was a holy place, so only the priests who took care of it could swim in it. People who were sick came to the sanctuary hoping to be healed, and they would give gifts to the gods. It was a place where people suffered and where people found hope. The first things they found were coins and small votive offerings that looked like ears, feet, torsos, and other body parts that needed healing. Then, two years after the digging started, the team of archaeologists found the 24 bronze statues, each about three feet tall perfectly preserved by the mud and water at the bottom of a large pool. Number 3. Large Funerary Building and Foyum Portraits from the Ptolemaic and Roman Period Discovered Archaeologists digging at the Garza archaeological site in Fayum City, Egypt, found a large funerary building and portraits of Fayum people from the Ptolemaic and Roman times. In the Old Kingdom, Fayum, which was called Shedet in ancient Egyptian, was built as a place to worship the crocodile god Sobek. Under the Ptolemaic Kingdom, Fayum was called Ptolemaeus Yergetus, and it became the center of the Ptolemaic cult of Alexander the Great. The building was made of stone blocks, and it has many burial chambers that were either cut out of the rock or lined with stone. Inside the main building, the floor is decorated with lime mortar and colored tiles that look like a checkerboard. Many other things have been found during excavations, such as richly decorated wooden coffins in both the ancient Egyptian and ancient Greek styles, ceramics, a fancy wooden box, and a number of portraits, which are often called Fayum portraits. 
Fayum portraits are a type of naturalistic painting on wood that was put on the mummies of Roman Egypt's upper class. They're part of the tradition of panel painting, which was one of the most highly regarded types of art in the classical world. In one of the wooden coffins, the team also found a terracotta statue of a mixed up Isis and Aphrodite, and a cache of papyrus documents written in both Demotic and Greek scripts. Number two. Lost temples, Buddhist structures, and caves uncovered in Band Avgar Forest Reserve. In the Band Avgar Forest Reserve in the Umaria district of Madhya Pradesh, India, the Archaeological Survey of India recently found lost temples, Buddhist structures, and caves in an awesome discovery. The team was exploring the area for the first time since 1938. They focused their survey on a 170 square kilometer area that included parts of Band Avgar Tiger Reserve that had been closed off to protect the Bengal tiger populations and biodiversity. The survey area is being done in three parts. The first part in the Tala range was finished in May and June of 2022. The Kitoli and Magadi ranges of the Tiger Reserve will be looked at in the next two phases. The survey found caves and temples, as well as the remains of Buddhist buildings and the names of cities like Mathura and Karshambi, written on walls and old scripts like Brahmi, Sheng Alapi, and Nagari. 24 inscriptions from the 2nd to 5th centuries AD have been found. Some of these inscriptions also give the names Pavata, Vijapaharada, and Setta Panairika. Inscriptions also name important kings such as Maharaja Sri Bhimseta, Maharaja Pothathri, and Maharaja Bhattadeva. 26 caves, 26 temples, 2 monasteries, 2 votive stupas, and 46 sculptures from the 2nd century BC to the 5th century AD were found. That's a lot of stuff. There's going to be so much to learn about India's rich history in this find. The team also found the ruins of Chaitya-shaped doors and cells with stone beds. These structures were probably built by Buddhists who followed the Mahayana sect. Number 1. Egyptian mummy buried with golden tongue. Whoa, look at this. This mummy has a gold tongue. I'd say that's pretty spooky. This mummy was laid to rest in Egypt, specifically in a tomb known as Taposiris Magna. It's been there for around two millennia. The golden tongue may have been placed in the mummy's mouth so the deceased could continue communicating with the living in the afterlife. The Egyptians believed that the mummy with the golden tongue would have been able to talk to the underworld's top deity Osiris on a wide range of topics if the two ever met in the afterlife. No one knows for sure, but it is speculated that the mummified person had problems talking while still alive. No one can definitively explain why a golden tongue was chosen. Alternatively, perhaps this is what happens if one kisses the pharaoh's butt too often. The exact date of death is unknown, however archaeologists do know that the individual lived after the death of Cleopatra VII in 30 BC, when Egypt was ruled by the Ptolemies, who were the descendants of one of Alexander the Great's generals, or if it was a little later, the Roman Empire. Have we underestimated how advanced ancient people were? What do you think they would think of today's society? Let us know in the comments below. Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now.